President Trump sending clear messages to Mueller's special counsel team today. In a wide-ranging interview with the New York Post, he addressed the targeting of Paul Manafort, Roger Stone, and Jerome Corsi, saying, we're in a McCarthy era. That was a bad situation for the country, but this is where we are. With regard to Manafort, his message to Mueller was a little more direct, saying of a pardon the following. I wouldn't take it off the table. Why would I take it off the table? Here to discuss, former U.S. Attorney Joe DeGeneva, former Clinton advisor and attorney Richard Goodstein, and host of the Dan Bongino podcast and author of Spygate, Dan Bongino. Uh, DeGeneva, the president talking pardon uh, with Manafort. A little premature for that? Uh, yes, of course. And, and it's just the president is tweaking and trolling people and trying to get get a you know just get a rise out of people that's what he does it's part of his shtick but the thing to me that's fascinating is all of a sudden the entire investigation by Mueller is focusing on people who are lying that's what it's always been about but now it's really about lying with Stone and Corsi and Flynn and everybody why is that happening the answer is very simple the original purpose of the investigation was Russian collusion. That's failed miserably. There's no evidence of it. So what is he doing now? He's charging people with lying so that he can say in his report, I would have proved collusion, but all these people lied and prevented me from doing it. This is the new narrative of Mueller. He's not, of course, mouthing it, but his actions prove conclusively that his new narrative is, if these people hadn't lied to me, I would have been able to prove collusion. This is the new Russian collusion theme now. This is what he's going to do. That's going to be what the report's going to be about. But, Dan Bongino, this is what... Um this has happened on CNN today. This was uh, Jeffrey Tubin about where this is all headed. We are now in the realm of, of possible impeach, impeachable offenses, and that is much more a political question than a legal question. However, that shouldn't distract us from the fact that this is egregiously inappropriate behavior on the part of the president. It is all but an encouragement to tell to, to Paul Manafort to stop cooperating. To take your punishment. I will take care of you later. Dan. Yeah, well, uh, Tubin's an embarrassment. Uh, the fact that this guy's a legal analyst. Uh, Really, he should get a refund from his law school. Um, I'm not sure if he's aware of the separation of powers, but the presidential pardon is a constitutional power law. I'm not sure if Tubin's aware of that, if he learned that in law school. But the reason that was implemented was so the executive branch would have some check over what were perceived gross uh, abuses of our system. Uh, the president can do that. Now, having said that, Joe's right. Joe just nailed it, although I'm sure Richard will try to make the case otherwise. Uh, there's no predicate crime here, Laura. There is zero evidence of collusion, no less conspiracy to collude or any kind of a crime at all. And if Mueller was really doing his job, which he's not, he'd be investigating the real Russian collusion, which there's actual evidence of, which is collusion between the Hillary team and Russians. There's real evidence of that, by the way, which we can document. Well, Richard, it came up tonight that they're upset about um, Manafort's Ukrainian business dealings, which I guess go back some years, involving a lot of different people, including one Russian oligarch that is so mad that he's suing uh, Manafort, I think for $10 million, uh, that he thinks we, we ripped off. But how, how did we get here? I mean, where is all this thought of Russian collusion? We're talking about Russian meddling, and it was all being coordinated, one would think, out of Trump headquarters. And now we're this poor old Jerome Corsi. I mean, this is where it is. Right. It, can we just talk about this McCarthyism charge just for a second? I, I actually so don't, you don't think, want to address. No, I'll this. get back to this. Just okay. one second. I don't think Donald Trump knows what McCarthyism is. McCarthyism was when you were making charges without evidence, and all Mueller's doing is having evidence to back up charges. He wouldn't be getting all these convictions and pleas and indictments if he wasn't able to take his evidence to a grand jury or petty jury. Um, and I think he's talking about browbeating. That's what he seems to be complaining about. Okay. And I don't remember either of you complaining when Ken Starr basically set up Monica Lewinsky, got her in a room, had her crying, wouldn't let her, you know, see a lawyer. Somehow, I don't remember Starr's kind of sympathizers complaining about that, what, what Donald Trump's well, complaining I, about. I now. think that's a, that is a fair point. Right. And I have actually addressed that um, as someone who's had some time to think about this. And I think prosecutors exist to get convictions. I right. mean, there are some good prosecutors out there. But all I'm saying is, like, st let's step back a minute and see where this started, how it started, yeah. 
and whether we're seeing from some maybe well-intentioned people some really egregious abuses right. of prosecutorial authority. Here's the predicate that I would say there's two questions that Mueller needs to answer. The um, WikiLeaks, again, stolen stuff that Donald Trump trumpeted 115 times on the campaign trail. WikiLeaks um, Podesta emails dropped it's within an crime. hour. Within an hour, it's, it's computer, it actually is computer privacy. It, no, it, President it, Trump talking about it, obviously. Well, Trump he's, saying using, that. he's using ill-gotten yeah. gains. Right. It, they dropped those emails within an hour after Access Hollywood. Was there an American involved, or did the Russians do that on their own? And all okay, these so bots, you're spinning and, a theory. And, no, we no, get no, it. Well, I'm just saying. And, and there are all these bots yeah. that communicated these messages like Pizzagate to okay, all these swing voters. You know, is that okay. something where there was an American okay. involved or not? Okay, we're two years into this. We're yes. two years into right. this almost. Well, we've got and they got nothing except well, well, an old 72-year-old guy. Well, they have all these Russians. Yes. Okay, you have all these yeah. indictments yeah. of all the Russians. Look, yeah. this, this, that, that's not this is all about failure. This investigation is a complete failure. The purpose was to investigate a conspiracy between the Trump campaign or the, or the president and the Russians. There is absolutely no evidence of that in any of the cases that he has barred. That is why he is now focusing on these side characters to accuse them of lying or perjury because his narrative is going to be, I couldn't prove collusion because they wouldn't let me. This is where we are. This is the pathetic state of Mueller's handling of this. Could they, this is an embarrassment. We've got 30 seconds. Can anyone be sanctioned in the Justice Department for how this has gone down or in, this, in Mueller's team? Well, this requires a federal grand jury to investigate the conduct. Where's our Only, attorney general? We need right. one right and, now. And let's see what the report right, says, right. please. Right. We're, we're speculating right. wildly about something we don't really know yeah. what we're Oh, I know about. what it's going to say. Okay. They wouldn't let me do my job. All right, guys. I want another hour of this whole thing. <laughs>